Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, and good night to those who had already fallen asleep. Standing here on this stage, I will share with you my own perspective on change. Well, before I begin, let me ask you guys a question. Have any of you seen the movie Happy Death Day? Well, from this picture, you could possibly guess that it is a horror movie. But from my perspective, I think this movie is actually more charming, touching, and also warm. Let me tell you the story. The girl Teresa, who was the main character of this movie, was a U.S. university student. She turned out to be trapped in a cycle on her birthday. This day of her life repeated over and over again. What did she do? Did she get out of the cycle? Well, she changed. She changed her plans. She changed her decisions. She tried to find out the murderer. Because at the end of every day in her cycle, she'll get killed by the man who wears masks. And she'll wake up in another day in her cycle. Well, unfortunately, she failed every time until her second last cycle. In her third cycle, she was so rude and so arrogant towards her classmates. But in her second last cycle, she decided to face them politely and kindly. In her first few cycles, she used to be getting so mad when she got disrupted. But in her second last cycle, she accepted the disturbance and faced them with a huge smile. She also compromised with her dad and accepted her mother's death. She told her dad that she wanted to change to a better self. And without those changes, she will never be able to find who really murdered her, and she will never be able to get out of her cycle. Well, not only Teresa, but also us, every one of us in this auditorium, every one of us in this city, every one of us in this world changes. We all change to find our way to not get lost. And to be more clear, let's put all this in the following model. In everyone's life, there are different stages in which we will have to make decisions and changes. Suppose a room like this is a stage of our life, and the rooms in the door uh, and the doors in the room stands for the different possibilities one can make. This small ball stands for individual, like you and me. Well, some could be stagnant, some could be moving at a slow pace, while others could be moving rapidly. In most cases, the ball either hits the door and bounces back, or goes into the next room and succeeds. Or, in the worst case, they may go on the wrong road and into the wrong room. Despite finding the right way to the right room is difficult, we should still keep trying and keep changing. Because without those attempts, we will never know which are the most optimal and suitable choices for ourselves. For example, standing on this stage, if I suddenly turn backwards and face my PBT, some of you may feel disrespected and a random love could appear. Or if I face sideways, then I will lose over half of my eye contact with you guys. Without those tries, I would not know that facing this way is the most appropriate. And guys, don't be afraid of making changes. No one succeeds in every stages of their lives. We all fail at some point. But 
that is not what's going to keep us from trying and changing, right? This is exactly consistent with what Dr. Hu said. Times change, and so must I. We all change when we think about it. We're all different people all through our lives. That's okay. That's good. We gotta keep moving. So long as we remember the people we used to be. This is absolutely true. We are all changing in different stages of our lives. We should learn from our past experiences and also our past mistakes. When we fail, we should not give up, but we should accept our failure and move on. When we succeed, we should not relax and be so proud. We should keep on trying and changing and make progress. Thank you.